A Little Mouse at the Opera. Un Opéra de Paris podcast, sponsored by Jacques Addy. Act 2. The Making of Dreams. Come on, little mouse, off towards the exit. Here. One, two, three, four. Glissade et jeté. Glissade et jeté. One, two, dégagé, dégagé. Yeah, that's it. Dégagé, dégagé. Disengage, disappear. Yes, disappear, disappear. Five, six, pirouette oh. uh, Don't make to the ground. Oh. Falling, falling, falling down. Oh. Falling down. Uh, pirouette always makes me dizzy. And boom, yeah, I noticed. Come on. One, two, stand up. Three, four, uh. towards the door. Five, six, go away. Seven, eight, never uh. come back. You know, at night in my dreams, I do perfect pirouettes. And also, I jump so high that it looks like I'm flying away. Uh. So everyone opposes me. I'm really very pretty in my tutu. And I dance so well that it makes people want to smile and cry at the same time. Uh. <laughs> What about you, Luca? Do you dream sometimes? I never dream, or maybe I don't remember. Oh, shame. Well, come on, little Lucy. I'll walk you back to the exit. No, uh, you know, Luca, even if you walked me all the way to the fields I came from, I still come back. Oh. I will come back each time. What's that? Oh, that ribbon. I know it. It's part of a costume for the marriage of figure of the opera that's playing today. There's no time to lose. No time to lose? I must bring it to where it should be, right away. Mm. And you are, you are coming with me. There's no choice, but I'm warning you. If you cause the slightest problem, I'll kill you. Where are you taking me? It's my secret passage. Oh, secret passage, I love it. To get around quickly and discreetly in this huge building, the easiest way I've found is to use the air vents. Cool. But do you often bring things back like this? You know, Lucy, everyone has a role to play in life, mm -hmm. and in this opera house, it's the same. Nobody's here by chance. Everyone has a mission to accomplish to make sure the shows can take place and be marvelous. Come on, quick. <gasps> okay. yes. For me, my role is to make sure everything goes smoothly, but without anybody noticing. When I see a problem, I sort it out right away. Oh, I see, like a garden angel? You can say that. You, the entire machine could grind to a halt because of you. Oh, come on. Don't I look like an angel, too? Huh? You're not answering? <laughs> oh, our footsteps sound like a lovely tune. It makes me want to dance. Da -da 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 -da. No, 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 now's not the time. Lay down. Care careful. <laughs> Oh, tumble to the ground, falling, falling down. <laughs> oh no, does it really hurt? My back is strained. Oh. It happens once in a while, but this time, this really isn't, this really isn't the time. What can I do? Nothing. You've done enough as it is. But you can't move. Why don't you let me go? There's no way I'd entrust this delicate mission to bumbling Lucy. I'll go, I'll go. You obviously can't go, and time is running out. Come on, trust me, I promise. I'll be very careful. Luca didn't have a choice. He had to trust me with this mission. Though, he did this reluctantly. After repeating the instructions and the itinerary a thousand times, he handed me the precious ribbon. I will come back afterward to help you. Well, hurry up. See you later, Luca. Oh, wow, what's going on down there? Technicians were relaxing with a game of ping pong while they were on the break. But I didn't have time to dawdle. I had a mission to accomplish. The urban then passed near the metal work workshop, a noisy workshop where people work with the metal that is used to build the sets. In this workshop, there's a lot of machines to click, fold, pierce, sew, or weld metal. And when you weld metal, 
it produces strong radiation. Wow, it's shiny like a fireworks. The craftsmen wear special masks so that their faces don't get burned and their eyes aren't damaged. Next door is the carpentry workshop where they work with wood to build the sets. From my air vent, I could hear the sound of both environments mixing together. No, Lucy, don't dance. Now's not the time. No dancing, no dancing, no dancing, no dancing. No, 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 no dancing. I almost gave in, but I wanted Luca to trust me. I absolutely had to carry out my mission. <laughs> And here comes a dance rehearsal. Oh, this is torture. I would love to stay and watch, but I must not. <laughs> Come on, Missy. Jenna, you're almost there. <laughs> okay, I'm there. I will drop the ribbon here, like Luca told me to. Mission accomplished, hooray! <laughs> I headed straight back to help Luca. I did it! I managed! Yes! See, I am not walking catastrophe. At least not all the time. You can stay a while, but you're on probation, okay? Next time you bumble, you dig a shit, disengage, disappear. <laughs> At your cannon, Captain Grumpy. What about your back? Uh, Is it better? Can uh, you move? Listen, I want you to try something. Uh -huh. Put your paws there. A, a, there? a little, little higher. A little okay. higher. There, there, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. Yeah. Now on three, push as hard as you can. Okay. One, two, two three. three. Ah! Oh! I... Oh! Good! I can move. Oh. So, oh. what do you say? Uh, oh, thanks. Thank you, who? Uh, thank you, Lucy. So, so what we can do now? Shall we go see the dancers? Okay, come. I like to swing by the decor assembly to make sure everything's going well. Mm. <gasps> oh, it's so big! Can I climb to the top? What? Do you think you're a tourism from the, the Eiffel Tower? But look at the stage set! It's at least as high as a thousand Lucy's! I see. We're good. Nothing to report. We can go. <gasps> but how do they get the sets to the stage after? They wheel them out of rails. Oh, like trains? Ding, ding! The decor coming from Assembly will soon be entering the stage! Please stand away from the platform aid! Well, no, like sets, really. Okay, and let's head to the painting workshop. We'll make sure everything's going smoothly over there, too. Afterwards, can we go to see the dancers? Please, please, pretty please! When we got to the painting workshop, we noticed a phone buzzing on the floor. Further away, the artist was listening to music with her headphones as she painted a huge canvas that was laid out on the ground. That call could be important. We must do something. <laughs> What's tricky here is managing to get closer without being seen. And smaller than you. Let me do it. Are you sure? Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay, I'll keep watch. I'll tell you when you can go. First step, reach the paint pot. Over there, you see? Yeah. When I give it the signal, you run as fast as you can and hide behind it. Okay? Go now. I'm very good at hide and seek. She will never see me. There. When the painter put her roller down to take the spray, I seized the opportunity to put the phone in her field of vision. It worked. She noticed the phone a few seconds later. Except that by trying to go unnoticed, there was somewhat of mishap, and I found myself in front of the spray paint. <coughs> when I went back to Luca, I was covered in paint. Would it be angry? Uh, look, Luca, I'm all green. <laughs> you know, there's a famous French nursery rhyme. 
about a green mouse. It, it goes like... Uh, Une souris verte qui courait dans l'herbe. Je l'attrape par la queue, je la montre à ces messieurs. Ces messieurs me disent, trompez-la dans l'huile, trompez-la dans l'eau. Ça deviendra un escargot trop chaud. Wow, thanks for the song. Ah, you're welcome. But it's not <laughs> funny, you know. Well, okay, maybe a little. <laughs> Please, Luca, could we go see the dancers now? Oh, no, no, you can't go into the auditorium like that. But why? Because you're bad luck. Me? But... The, the color green is forbidden all theaters in France. It's a superstition, you know, that, that everyone believes. No one wants to risk attracting bad luck. So, follow me. Luca took me to where the painters clean their equipment. <sighs> And he washed me. Ow! I got soap in my eyes! Until I returned to my normal color. Don't you think green suited me? We then walked towards the real soul of Swan Lake. I was about to experience an incredible revelation. A Little Mouse at the Opera, an Opéra de Paris podcast, sponsored by Jacques Ali, produced by Kitsuno, with Lily Caruso, and Corrado Invernizzi, written by Eve-Marie Boucher, based on an original idea of Benoît Husson, directed by Eve-Marie Boucher, and Benoît Husson, original score by Cédric Barbier, fully artist Benjamin Rosier, and Nicolas Lockhart. Sound editing and mix, Nicolas Lockhart. Recorded by Nicolas Sacco. Executive producer, Benoit Husson. Coordination Opéra de Paris, Caroline Brown, Aliénor Courtin, Anthony Deveau, Inès Piovesan, Gwenola Tate.